Hey guys, today this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to wow you with a demo vid. I'm not going to actually do a display. I'm not going to light anything off. And I'm not going to demonstrate anything as it relates to electronic firing either. This is what the title states. It's an uh, open forum. And the purpose of this video is to give you the opportunity as a subscriber to voice your opinion about the various types of content that I have within my channel today what types of things maybe you want to see more of or less of and more importantly if there's some things that maybe I don't have today that you'd like to see me incorporate in upcoming videos this is your opportunity now some people have already reached out to me and there's a couple things that I'm going to look to do in the next couple months or so and I'll touch on that in a moment but first before I get started I just want to thank each and every one of my subscribers I've had a lot of people recently join I want to welcome you um, and as you'll find, you know, my channel, I like to kind of create an uh, interactive environment. Um, I try to respond to every post, every comment that comes on my channel. I like feedback. I actually welcome it. Because at the end of the day, my job here is to provide and give back to you without sounding real corny. But I've learned a lot from each and every one of you and others that are out there. And that's what this platform is for, is to help me educate you, sharing some of my experiences, um, show you some things that I've learned, show you some things that worked out well, some things that maybe haven't worked out well. More importantly, demonstrate some of the products that are out there so you can make sound buying decisions. If it's fireworks or if it's electronic firing systems, I'm going to give you a fair and honest opinion. And a lot of others do that today. And like I said, it, it was very advantageous for me as I've looked to expand my shows over the last year and a half, two years. So when you look at my content today, basically, I, primarily I do a lot of demo vids, and I think there's great value in that for a couple of reasons. First, works are not cheap. So what a lot of us try to do is give you a demonstration from a consumer point of view, so you're actually kind of getting the what you see is what you get type of approach, and this is the actual product that you're going to get on the retail shelves and we're demonstrating that so you can make sound buying decisions. Now I know from year to year some of these things change. So I'm gonna to continue to do demo vids. Like I said, I think there's great value in them. I enjoy doing them. I'm a pyro for crying out loud. So I like to light stuff off and I know a lot of you enjoy seeing them. So I'm gonna continue doing that. I'm gonna to try to continue to provide a lot of variety in the types of brands and the types of effects that I'm gonna do in my demos. I might get more creative too as I start to play around with the Cobra, but we'll get into that in a moment. The other thing is displays. Um, displays, this year I'm going to try to spend more time focusing on the setups. I'm going to share my displays with you, no doubt about that. But last year, you know, I was just doing a lot more with displays. I learned a lot from each and every one of you and a lot of guys out there. And I'll be honest, I just started doing electronic firing. I was using this system here, the Quantum Fire. That was new to me, and I was spending so much time prepping and getting things ready, I didn't allocate enough time to actually show you the setups as much as I would have liked to. This year, I'm going to try to make more time so I can show you the actual setup after I have it set up before I go to fire the show. Regarding um, e-firing, that's a huge area of interest for me. You will see videos about that. I just love the whole concept of electronically firing the shows. Don't get me wrong, I'm a pyro and I'm a pyro at heart. I still like to hand light things. I do hand light some of the demos that you see. I also light some stuff off myself that maybe you don't even make it to camera. But at the end of the day, I really like electronic firing. It's a huge area of focus and interest of mine. I think it has a ton of potential. It allows you to get really creative with your displays. I saw that last year. I know some of you, if you go out and look at my videos, I know there's stuff out there that's bigger and better. But if you were to see my shows like four or five years ago, like some of the friends and family that are seeing my shows now, they're just amazed with the types of things I'm able to do. And so I was fortunate enough, my wife gave me one hell of a gift, the Cobra Firing System, and you've seen a lot of videos about that. For those that find that of interest, hopefully you're getting something out of those videos. I know some of you, Cobra Firing System maybe isn't in the cards for you this year. It may not be in the foreseeable future. But at least these videos will be out there so when you go to make a decision you can see what types of things you're able to do with the system. What you're going to see more of is you're going to see more scripting videos. I've actually been playing around with that, having a ton of fun with that as well. 
So I'm going to do some mock-ups. You're going to see some videos with smaller effects like smokes and things like that. Um, right now, while it's a little bit cooler, I'm going to do some smaller things with scripts. I'm going to do some videos, just show you some of the capabilities. And then when the weather turns around and we get into actual season, I'm going to do a ton of things around scripts and show you smaller shows, so show you how you can mix different effects, how you can do time events, step event shows, show you how you can do it with music, all sorts of things. And then I'm going to actually incorporate them into the pyro challenges, and I'm not going to give up too much there, but if you think the pyro challenges are interesting, now just wait till I incorporate scripting into it, and I have a lot of great ideas. Um, I will continue pyro challenges, they're going to be every month throughout the rest of the year, and we'll see where it goes from there. I think a lot of you are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun for me. I like the friendly competition. So some other things I want to touch on real quick. I'm going to do a couple more videos on firing systems. I'm going to do some on the Quantum Fire because this is an entry level system and like I said it served its purpose with me so I'm going to share some videos on this and show you some setup things so hopefully give me feedback and let me know if you want to see those. If, if not, I won't do them because at the end of the day they do take time to make and if there isn't an interest then you know, I won't bother uh, putting them together and putting them out there. Um, rack builds. I'm going to do some videos on rack builds. I'm going to redo all my racks. Um, last year I did a couple just basic racks. They were straight. I want to get more creative with my racks. So, fortunate, you know, I went out to a couple guys' sites. You know, Joel, for instance, Sippy. You know, they have some really good rack designs out there. Um, Sippy's gotten really creative with some of his. And I'm going to utilize some of that and try to incorporate that in some of my rack builds. If you want to see some videos on that, respond to this. Let me know, and I'll make a video of those and share it with you. Um, the last thing is firework tours or uh, shopping trips. Some people have some interest in that. I'm going to try to do those. I will probably won't be for another month or two because a lot of the places are getting their stock now and they're stocking their shelves. I'll be honest, too, within my area, some of the places, even though it's free advertising, they might not be too warm to the idea. And the reason why is because their prices are outrageous. I do a lot of shopping around. I buy a lot of stuff off season. Um, if you were to see some of the prices they get for some of these, these things in peak season, you'd fall out of your chair. But if I can, I'm gonna try to do some shopping tours and we'll try to incorporate that regarding a stash video. Probably will do two more. I got a small one. I've had some people ask me about it. I might have a small update to give you. The last one I'm going to do around May, um, I'm trying to coordinate with some friends and do a wholesale order. So that's going to be the bulk of the rest of my stuff. So it probably won't be till May till I do my final stash video for 2014. But once again, I appreciate um, your interest in my channel. Please feel welcome to uh, give feedback to this video. Let me know what you want to see more of, less of, or what I'm not doing and you'd like to see me incorporate it. I welcome all feedback and thanks a lot for your interest in my videos. I appreciate uh, you taking the time out to uh, watch them and then also provide the feedback. Stay tuned. We're going to be releasing the results of the recent Pyro Challenge and uh, more videos to come. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.